In this video, we will demonstrate how to easily use ANSYS Mechanical in ANSYS Cloud and access a powerful and scalable solution. We can access ANSYS Cloud right from our desktop application. In this example, an ANSYS Mechanical job is ready to solve. We are going to send it to the cloud to solve. Let's create a new job. We give it a job name. We choose any data center localized nearest to us or where we want to. We pick up the nearest to us, and we choose the hardware virtual machine that best suits our situation. In case you want to access our recommendation, and if you are looking for some benchmarks, you can access our ANSYS Cloud Forum to get some help and access our latest recommendation and tips, but also access some guidance on selecting the right hardware. After we've chosen the right type of hardware configurations, we can select the number of cores we want to use. We can then choose the number of nodes, which varies from one up to a large number, 16 in this case, to give very large hundreds of cores of solving power and increase your simulation throughput. For a small cell like this example, we can choose our smallest configuration. Now we simply submit the job. Since this will securely encrypt our input file and send it off to ANSYS Cloud to solve, we can monitor the job from this window in the application, or we can even close down this application out when the solver is running and go to the ANSYS Cloud portal. In the ANSYS Cloud portal, we see our running job. We see that the upload is finished. Now it's preparing our compute resources, which takes just a few minutes. We can check the steps into the monitor. We can also display the convergence graphic into the graph monitor to display the time spent on various tasks. When the job is finished, we can download the result to our local desktop or post-process in the cloud thanks to our in-browser interactive session. To post-process on the cloud, once we've uploaded our Workbench project, we can open a virtual in-browser interactive session. This time we can choose nodes with graphic cards in addition to the other virtual machine. Now that our virtual desktop is up and running, we can begin to post-process. It's even possible to enter full screen mode for more convenience and a seamless remote application experience. It really feels like you are working on your local machine. On this example here, we are going to post-process directly in browser. We can display the results and work on our simulation result like we would have done on our local application. When our post-processing is finished, we just go to the Files tab, and then we select the files we want to download. In this case, we just want the video we created, and then we can download it. We just choose the download location. We initiate the download. When the download finishes, we can simply go to that directory and play the file. ANSYS Cloud HPC, as easy as it should be.